More than 200 South Koreans from all walks of life have arrived in Berlin after an almost three-week-long train journey across Asia and Europe. During the course of their more than 14,000-kilometer journey, the passengers have been promoting Seoul's so-called Eurasia Initiative. Our Han Daeun has the details. These members of the Eurasia Express expedition have traveled across one-third of the Earth's surface via train, aiming to boost Korea-Eurasia friendship and raise awareness for the need for peace in the region. After 18 days of their historic journey, they arrived in Berlin, their final destination and a symbol of peaceful reunification. My grandfather is Hun Gi Jung, who won Korea's first Olympic medal here in Berlin. But sadly, as a Japanese delegate, it's truly meaningful for me to trace his footsteps, marking the 70th anniversary of Korea's independence. Since embarking on the special journey on July 14th from Seoul, the team has traveled 14,400 kilometers across China, Russia and Europe, a distance that's 33 times longer than that of Seoul to Busan. Along the way, they held various events designed to bring Korea and Eurasia closer together events they can cherish for a lifetime. The members organized global festivals at Lake Baikal of Siberia, where many Russians, Eurasians and other Asians held hands to dance, and also pay tribute to Korean ancestors that sacrificed their lives fighting for the nation's independence in Russia's maritime province. In Moscow, a concert marking the 25th anniversary of the establishment of Korea-Russia relations was held, building up the trip's festive mood. Foreign Minister Yun Byung-hae, who joined the last leg of the expedition from Poland to Germany, communicated and exchanged views with the members, mostly comprised of college students. The expedition members are set to march the streets of Berlin, hoping for the peaceful reunification of the two Koreas. With a grand finale performance, the friendly expedition for peace will come to a rest. And then, I did a news.